Olympics, and you know, we've had an Olympian who did pretty well. Oh, yeah. And right now, we're going to talk to two people. Uh, one of them is the author, Alvin Thompson, and he's written a book called Visualizing Slavery, and his wife, Hilda Thompson, is here. And if you haven't picked up on my connection with the Olympics yet, <laughs> and Thompson, and Thompson uh, kind of slow this morning. <laughs> But we will let you in on that secret as we go along. Why I'm making the connection. So let me say good morning to our guests, though. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Beautiful. Yeah. Do you all still follow the Olympics? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Keep your microphone in the house. Yeah. 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 Sorry to have to put you in that position, but yeah, you got to have to keep it up there. Mm -hmm. So you all still follow the Olympics? Yeah. We do, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah. Even though there's yeah. nobody in there named over there. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, that's Give us because we will all be following. But let's look at the reason why you're here today. Uh, I believe this is the second book that you've written. It's called Visualizing Slavery. Mm -hmm. And it's an interesting concept because one would think that uh, everyone has a sort of visual in their mind, but tell us how, what your attack or what your take on this is. Okay, first of all, I should say that it is not the second book I've written. I've written five books directly on slavery. Wow. And several other books. Right. But this is a specialized uh, work, or two works on slavery. The first being Confronting Slavery. Right. And the second one, Visualizing Slavery, which is a follow-up to the first one. So do you think that a lot of us, for us, especially from this generation, or maybe even yours, slavery is just a sort of concept that we maybe are not even connected with, disconnected, and that we need to start maybe seeing or visualizing it. Is that what, what was behind it? Yes, that is exactly the case. What we are, are teaching and have been teaching for some time is what, as historians, we call sugar and slave which is very little and says very little about the work experience and the life of enslaved persons in the Americas. And we teach virtually nothing about the brutalities which are a very important part of slavery. In fact, for me, it is what distinguishes Caribbean or New World slavery from any other kind of slavery. The brutalities that were carried out outside of the context of the work regime. And also a more positive aspect of black people who were able to recreate their lives and to develop a very vibrant, vibrant culture which we are seeing expressed in our own time in many ways, including many of the press devices. Okay. This is what the book is trying to show in visual form. All right. Mrs. Thompson, let's talk about your involvement in the journey. I'm, I'm sure there is, there's always some kind of involvement, so to share. Support and encouragement. Mm -hmm. The main um, pictures yeah. you know, where I come in. And I also help to log, you know, the, um, as the book is shared, mm -hmm. you know, just to keep a record of contacts and that yeah. sort of thing. And my husband says that I am the banker, ah. so I do the collecting. Oh, so the focus. Yeah. Yeah. How important is it for you, though, personally as a mother, and mothers are always teaching as well, and I think if anybody is socially responsible enough, you want to be a part of a journey that is going to enlighten people. Big time. Yeah. You know, I really think it's important. And the beautiful thing about this book, the visual, visualizing, um, it's done in sections like the transatlantic slave trade, trade and then, uh, you know, brutalities about the social and the cultural aspect, reparations. There, there are 11 sections, mm -hmm. but they're done in bite sizes, like a page, um, it's a compilation of of features rather than reading straight through and you know, visualizing slavery. So for someone who doesn't want to read a lot at one time, you can just take one page, you can read it, you can get knowledge there, you can go to another section mm -hmm. and 
you know, visit it back and forth. Yeah. Kind of in bite size. Okay. Mr. Thompson, tell us more about your purposefulness in marrying certain images with some of the subjects in the book. Well, the unique features or feature of both of these books, and especially the second one, mm -hmm. is the extensive use of images of color images, as, as you will see. That is the attraction. Packaging the story of slavery in a way that the lay person who would not otherwise be interested in the subject would really want to see what is, is happening. Mm -hmm. Let me yes, because mm -hmm. most of the images are, are colored, right? right? You know. And this allows you really to see visually what has been happening. Uh, the difference also between the first one confronting slavery, which has also several images, and this one, is that you can depend anywhere at this, any page, mm -hmm. and relate it. This one here follows the sub or high school. This one, anybody who's simply interested in knowing what has happened can just open at any page and read because there are many more stories, individual stories and biographies of enslaved people, but not only of enslaved people, of black people in various parts of the world. For instance, the image that the two images that you are seeing here right now on the left is the story of Mandela, Nelson Mandela, who is received 250 international awards, the most I know any person this world has ever seen. And the one on the right is of a doctor trained in Italy. She is currently a member of the Italian cabinet, but she has, has been subject to considerable racism, no less than by the person you see to the right, the gentleman who is also a member of the Italian parliament. Mm. So this is the kind of story we are telling, to continue racism that uh, that people seem to attract. Um, I suppose there's going to be a book launch. Uh, can you tell us about that event? Yes, the book launch is due to take place this evening at 7 o'clock at the University of the West Indies. And all persons are invited. Lecture room in our lecture. Well, T4. T4 in the T4 building. Okay. Awesome, and all are invited. All yeah, are just invited. Just come out. 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 Just there will be other places, but that's where they are right now. Excellent. Thank you very much for coming in and sharing with us. And uh, we wish you sweet success with the book. Keep on teaching and sharing. Okay. Thank you so much, Beth. You're most welcome. Bye. It is 6.20.